All right, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back, everyone, once again to the Planet Comics Facebook page for another edition of Comic Talk. I am Tyler. I am Katie. Everyone's favorite Katie. Everyone's Everyone's favorite. least favorite Tyler. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the dynamic. That's the dynamic. It's, it's like, it's Leave good. Leave me a Google review. <laughs> it's good cop, bad cop, and all I'm trying to do is sell stuff. <laughs> and that's that's what we, we're getting into, Comic Talk, this week. <laughs> yeah. We have a ton. It's a lot. It's such a big list. It's really exciting. A lot of the titles I can't wait to talk about, but it's a lot this yeah, week. Yeah, like, I mean, like, as far as the titles, like, the quality of them is so good this week. I yeah. feel like every single stack has books that I'm really excited to read and talk about. It so is also cool. overwhelming thinking about catching up on all the reading to get to these books because there's a lot of, like, number ones, too. Yeah. Yeah, a good few, so. E, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, gonna get into it? Shall we go ahead yeah. and get started? Let's do it. Starting out with the one and only for DC Action Comics. Happy Tuesday. Hello. Yes. Hey, Jody. Hello. Hey, Austin. Happy There's my guy. Austin. Yeah. Yeah, today is, yeah, what, February 22nd? Oh, 2022? February 02, 22, 2022. A lot of the twos. Best day of the year. I only know this, yeah, because and it's, it's my boy's it's, birthday. That's Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Happy birthday, dude. Yeah, but we are moving on to Action Comics. I love this book. I love this book so much. Superman. Oh, this is, it's yeah. It's Superman at his best. We have on the cover here, Mongol, looking so good. This new version of Mongol is incredible. The art in this. They've changed artists ever since like we got on this uh, story art going. Mm -hmm. And it's like really detailed, like painting kinda. It looks like a Conan story. Oh, that's cool. It's like Conan Superman. Uh, hello, comic friends. Oh, yes, hi, hello. Heath. What's up? Good to see everybody here. Yeah, action comics is incredible. If people aren't if you guys aren't reading action comics, or maybe if you're not a Superman fan, you think he's too lame or overpowered, it's definitely worth it. Yeah. It's so worth it. Superman is so good. Got the A cover here for action comics. We have the B cover here for the Black History Month cover featuring oh. uh, Natasha. She is uh, the nef the niece of uh, Steel, who is one of Superman's allies, and okay. she's the new form of Steel. Oh. So she has like metal armor and has like a hammer. Her character and, design looks really cool. Really cool. She's part of Superman's team right now. He has like a whole cover ops authority team, That's so cool. and she's on it. Yeah, she's super good. She's like one of his like top followers. Nice. Got that cover there, Black History Month cover. All the Black History Month covers have been so good. This one is really cool. This one is really good. They have all these old school Silver Age covers for Action Comics. And that one's showing Superman winning a uh, an arm wrestling competition with Plastic Man. And who else is featured on here? We have Plastic Man, Green Arrow, The Flash, and Batman and Robin. Is he really and, Plastic Man? <laughs> yeah, that's Plastic Man. Whoa. Yeah. Nice. Plastic Man is the most powerful guy in the DC universe. No, he's not. Yes. <laughs> No one can be Plastic Man. Okay. I'm going to have to study up. I I'm know. not joking. <laughs> Plastic Man legit, you can't stop him. Wow. Yeah, that's an incredible cover, though, for it's Action just Comics. Everyone's trying to beat Superman in an arm wrestling competition. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good I hope bit. Plastic Man wins. Other right. book, moving on, that What's I'm up? also super excited to talk about. Finally getting to show it off on the show. This is a good opportunity for me to like stress how important it is to have a pull box here. And look up other comics that we... Because we don't get to show off all the ones here on the show. No, there was a bunch I was really excited to talk about this week that were all exclusively pulls. So I can't talk about them. Like, Department of Truth being one. I'm just sad. So Some, get a pull box so we can talk about these yeah, things. Yeah, sometimes we only get comics that are featured... Like, we only get books for people enough for the pull boxes. And we don't have any to show on the show. Which is disappointing. That's kind of what's happening here with Blue and Gold. Blue and Gold is a six issue... Is it six or eight issue miniseries? Eight issue. Eight issue miniseries. I love the team of Blue and Gold. Blue and Gold being Booster Gold and Blue Beetle. Okay. Some of my favorite heroes ever. Mm -hmm. They have, like, the ultimate bromance in comics. They are, like, the perfect... It's the kind of friendship where, like, these are two... Well, one of them especially is very smart, but the moment he's with his best friend, it's like they have one brain cell. That's amazing. Like, that is the best way to describe it. And they have been sucked into, like, all kinds of shenanigans uh, through this miniseries. I wish they'd get an ongoing. That's how much I love it. And I'm yeah. so happy to finally, like, even for them to even have a book. It's incredible. And, uh, yeah, right now they're being forced to battle to death in a gladiator style. And that is uh, how the last issue ended, where, like, Booster was like, don't, I just follow my lead guy. I got this. And he's just like, we're not going to take orders from you. And they said, you're going to have to fight your friend to the death. It's like, oh. No, <laughs> we, dude. Just, we uh, got roped into that one. Oh, man. Yeah, you have been so excited and talked about Blue and Gold so much. Blue so gold I'm going to so I'm gonna get into it. Oh, I love both of them so much. That was Blue and Gold. Let us know if you want that. I think we only have that copy, too. So we, Yeah, that's the only one. Yeah. That's, again, how crazy it is. Some of the copy, the amount of copies we get from these books. Yeah. 
Moving on to Aquaman, Green Arrow, Deep Target. Woo. Number five. Five of, this one is the seven. seven. Mm-hmm. Limited series. That's an odd number, actually. Yeah. Well, literally. But it is, uh, <laughs> this one is pretty crazy. Right now, it's a lot of, like, wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey, like, shenanigans, and it's so fun. Yeah. Uh, right now, they're, like, fighting dinosaur people. Oh, that's amazing. And I think, like, he's just trying to turn everybody into dinosaurs. Okay. It's like that Spider-Man bit with Sauron. He's like, I want to turn everybody into dinosaurs. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> All right, and we got, so this is the A cover, and we got another cover for this. Yeah, the B cover we have here, this card stock, showing off uh, just Green Arrow in a nice cool pose with his uh, with the targets in the background. He always hits the target dead center. Did they center. stop doing the shiny card stock, and now it's like the matte card stock? Uh, I think it's about the same. It's about the same? Okay, it just feels different. I don't know. If you guys have noticed a difference, let me know, <laughs> because I might be stuck in a different multiverse. Yeah, moving Let's on go. to <laughs> one of our few Batman books. Surprisingly, it's a oh, few Oh, God, amount. wow. Batman versus Bigby, a wolf in Gotham. This Ooh. is such a. The, do you know what this is a crossover of? Oh, oh no, I don't. Bigby, it's a uh, fables. That's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I've heard if that you before. played the game, The Wolf Among Us. Yes, I have also it is heard that. that. Bigby, one of my favorite games, fables. It, that's like we. Uh, I talk about how much I love Vertigo, DC's old Vertigo imprint. Mm-hmm. Fables was a, a Vertigo series that I really liked. Yeah, pretty much everything Vertigo had was incredible. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah, I was a big fan of fables. And it's coming back now, and to, like, to hype up its return, we have a Big B uh, Batman crossover here. Is there going to be another game or anything? There or... is. Welcome okay. to Season 2. Uh, we got a trailer for it, like, two weeks ago. Oh, so it's still nice. coming. Yeah, cool. So we got Batman versus Big B right there. Also, the only copy of that one that we have. Book 6, so there is that. Moving on to everyone's favorite uh, comic relief. Not my favorite comic relief. That'd be Blue and Gold. But everyone's favorite DC comic relief would be Harley Quinn. These books are just, you know, like, it's... They're shenanigans. Yeah. That's every, right now, Hugo Strange. Last time I read, he was like, just enough as Batman, which is something that character wouldn't do. <laughs> but it's just ridiculous. Everyone's, it's like a Looney Tune. Yeah. And it's, you can kind of tell the art style too here. Like everyone's kind of drawn like that. Yeah. No, I've noticed with all these Harley uh, books coming in, cause this is different than the eat, bang, kill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But even still, like all the art is just really fun and whimsical and a lot like really Cartoon Network-esque. Yeah. You know? That'd be a good description for it. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got this cover here. And then we have the other variant cover, which might have to turn that one sideways. Let's show off like, oh, it's like yeah. a pinup kind of of Harley. She looks so cool. Yeah, I like the, like the outfit. It's like a biker kind of. Yeah, she looks nice. Cool. And that's it for Harley Quinn, I believe. All right, moving on to, we only have, I know we have another cover of this one as well, but I don't think we have it on hand right now. It is for Detective Comics. Now, this is just the B cover for Detective Comics. We have plenty of copies of A and B, though. So if anyone's interested in those, then definitely let us know. Uh, yeah, Detective Comics is just... It's still great. going. It's still going. It's doing its thing. The Weekly, it's surprising. It's just not something you're used to in comics. And like, if you're a manga person, you're used to those chapters coming out every week. I am not. So I'm not, it's still... We're, we're used to it until it takes like an eight-year hiatus or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that manga's all in. You know, yeah. it's all or nothing. For real. And like, yeah, so for, for a comic book to have a weekly schedule, I'm still not used to it. Mm-hmm. And I'm just surprised that every week it's like, wow, we're still talking about Detective still Comics. Going. It's still going. still going. Yeah. We got Detective Comics here. We do have plenty of the A cover. We just forgot to grab it. So let yeah. us know. We have Human Target, the miniseries by Tom King. That This book has been, I'm still in the process of catching up super good and just like it's like a murder mystery or quote murder mystery there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of moving parts i believe i don't know if we have cover a and b this is cover b mm-hmm. i don't believe we have any more of cover a this is the series i was really attracted to the art style it's the very art style unique. is incredible pull of comics both covers we got your email. email nice to see you hello and uh yeah the human target uh right now what i like about it is that all the murder suspects uh are members of the JLI, the Justice League International. Okay. That is my favorite form of the Justice League there's ever been. Really? It's a lot of, like, B and C listers, and then Batman, he was the only A-lister they allowed on the team. <laughs> and it was just funny. It, that's where Blue and Gold came from. Okay. It was just, like, Batman having to babysit these idiots. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so good. And to see them back again in this was really good. Yeah. I got you for a human target as well, Ramel. All right. What's I'm next? Refrigerator full of heads now. This looks cool. You're a big Joe Hill guy, I, aren't you? I'm very, yeah, yeah, I love Joe Hill, Stephen King's son and all that, but I've not read Refrigerator Full of Heads. I'm very, very behind do you on know catching what the, up. Do you know what the cover, or the, the title is a reference to? No, uh-uh. The title, well, it's a sequel to Basket Full of Heads, but the reason now the sequel is Refrigerator Full of Heads is because famously in the 90s, 
DC Comics, uh, Kyle Rayner, the current Green Lantern at that time, they just had a character brutally murder his girlfriend and stuff her in a refrigerator. And it was completely unnecessary, and it didn't really add a lot to the plot. (laughs) And so that became like a movement of women in refrigerators. That's a term in Hollywood and on tropes now is like when a woman just gets like killed or like unnecessary stuff happens to her just for the sake of moving the man's plot along. And that is like an infamous moment. Oh uh, my god! <laughs> everyone knows that about Kyle Rayner's girlfriend. Oh my gosh! Wow. Okay. Cool. There's a lot of words I could say for that, yeah. but I can't say. That. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, this series, yeah, it looks very interesting. I'm sure I'll catch up to it at some point. How many issues is it? So four issues in. I'll, I'll get there. I'll, I'll be able to talk about it. God, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna let you talk about this next one because I've been talking about oh! it. Oh. <laughs> It's so good. So yeah, Robin. number eleven Robin for Robin. Number eleven. Oh my god! So I binged it. Like I really wanted to catch up on it because you kept saying it's like it's like a tournament arc. It's like manga. Like blah blah blah. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a try. I love Damien. He loves Nightwing, and uh, I have really found myself like picking a favorite. Mm-hmm. And Damien's probably my favorite. Damien's your of this. favorite Batman. Yeah, or I your think favorite so. Robin at least. Yeah, my favorite Robin for sure. Yeah, he is just so edgy, and the way that the last issue ended too, it's just like I cannot wait to get into this one because it has been such a ride and with me being like really introductory into like dc and marvel and all that this like threw me right into it and i feel like i'm following along like perfectly well you know like raz al ghul's in it and everything and it's like i kind of know him from like the movies you know and there's a lot of new characters too so this has been so good so do not sleep on this like he was saying i love this so much so we have cover a there and the cover b for it showing off damian wayne's parents batman and talia al ghul Talia hasn't made much of, like, she's made brief appearances in the Robin run. She's, she's talked about a lot. Yeah. 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 But I love, yeah, I love this cover. And I don't know too much about her. So I wonder if this is going to get more into it. Perhaps. What's so, next? Moving on to, I think everyone, like, everyone's pick for the most, fa- like, fun DC book right now being DC versus va- <laughs> versus vampires featuring uh, the cover there. It was that Batman versus, uh, yeah, Batman versus not mm-hmm. the Hal Jordan that I know. The Hal Jordan that I know would never be a vampire. That's oh, a, that's, that's is that a, a whole thing? That's a whole thing. We got you for Robin. Got Ramel. you, Ramel. Yeah, uh, the Hal, like, Hal Jordan's antics as a vampire have been so funny to follow. Yeah. The way that this book is going. Is it's, it just chaotic? It's like, so chaotic. Yeah. Well, we got the A cover here for DC versus vampires. And here is the B cover. Nice. Showing off a sinister looking vampire Oh, man, there. yeah. That's pretty cool. I really, really want to read this. I, uh, yeah, I'm and it's Tinian too, right? Yeah, is it Tinian? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I yeah, I know the artist is what always said to me is yeah, Otto Schmidt. Yes, and his art is so good. Yeah, for sure. Dude, the dude's like the the CW of comic artists. Like everyone's attractive. Yes, this is yeah. just like this is, everyone looks good. You know. <laughs> All right. DC versus vampires for a moment. Oh, nice. Got gotcha. you gotcha. both of those. Cool. Moving on to, I believe Mary's favorite member of the mm-hmm. Bat family. It's not the bats, it's the cat. Catwoman. This is a gorgeous cover. And this is the A cover, too. Like, this it is, is gorgeous. It's a, And it's not very far into this run. I think, like, the, this is a new writer for Catwoman. Okay. They've only been on for an issue or two, I want to say. If anyone's reading Catwoman, let me know how long we've been on the new writer. But I think it still might be. It's not too late to hop in. Okay. Because of it being a new writer. You know, new runs, always good jumping on point. Let's see, uh, guys, able to come pick up my copy. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, the, yeah. Alan came and got his uh, DC vs. Vampires earlier. Oh, cool. And uh, got that. He added that to his subscriptions. Oh, nice. Because he's just like he's tired of rushing out here, you know, trying to to grab, grab it. it. I'm glad that you added that to your subscriptions. I need all the Catwoman covers. All right, Heath, we got all you. All right, we got you for that. Well, yeah. So here is uh, the first one. I think we have a couple of these. Well, we only have one other one. Oh, okay. It's this one right here, Ooh. cover B, showing off her in a, in a nice pose. Got the cats with her. Very like a. Uh, Tim Burton Catwoman esque on that yeah, one. Yeah, actually, actually, both of these kind of have that vibe to them. Yeah, that's that's yeah. She looks very familiar to me, and that's probably why. All right, Heath. Cool, All cool. right, moving on to Soul Plumber. I remember you were. Hey, did you ever get around to it? No, no. I have caught up on so many things, but I'm ashamed to say I have not caught up on Soul Plumber because it's almost over. I think. Yeah. Yeah. There's one. Okay. By the last issue, I'll be able to talk about it a lot more. But I've definitely said before, I love uh, the writers who have a part in this. They're the last podcast on the left, guys. And I obsessively listen to podcasts, yeah. and they're like an occult, uh, like, uh, crime. Hey, guys. How's it going? Joseph, good to see you. Oh, hey. Uh, they're like an occult crime podcast. So this looks really fun. 
fun. I've heard really good things about it, so I'll catch up by the the last issue. That's for one sure. of those. That's like the first comic that you showed interest in since we started doing this. Yeah, and you've gotten around to so many. I know but that one. I know. Oh my gosh, I, I'm treating this like homework instead of like let me sit down and read what I really have been meaning to read. You true. know, but I found a lot of cool things from that. And so true. we got that for Soul Plumber. I think it's cover A. Here is cover B. Nice. Oh god, the characters are so cool. Look at that. I am very excited. It's probably also full of shenanigans. Yeah. So let us know if you want those. Moving on. We uh, we talked about what day it was. It is Tuesday. All kinds of twos is all in there. So why not, for Tuesday, pick up Task Force Z, in which the main villain is none other than Two-Face. Oh, God. That's going to make my head explode. <laughs> Everyone was talking about, like, man, DC should have had a Two-Face book for Tuesday. They already did. He's mm -hmm. been a key player in Task Force Z for the past two issues now. Okay. And that he's been like the secret benefactor of this whole zombie group. It's all it's all horror related. Oh, that's right. Task Force Z is the horror. Yeah, like... it's Jason Todd and an army of zombie Batman villains. Oh man, so cool. Gosh. It's funny watching how that team has changed because it used to have Bane on there, mm -hmm. and uh, without spoiling it, Bane ain't there no more. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, we got the A cover for Task Force Z. And then here's the B cover showing off Mr. Bloom, oh, I man. believe. All he looks kinds... like a uh, like Last of Us. Uh... Like a Last of Us monster. Yeah. Looks like, uh, uh... what was the internet called? The SCP? Oh, yeah, the SCPs or whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah, something like, the kids will know. The kids will know. <laughs> that looks like one of them FNAF <laughs> well, things. That's right, well, the Markiplier <laughs> yeah. watched him play it. <laughs> yeah, Markiplier's knew that guy. That's right. Let us know if you would like this. So it's the B cover for Task Force C. All right, and then we have Deathstroke Inc. Oh, Task Force Z both covers. Yeah, I got you, Mo. Moving on to Deathstroke. I believe this is the only cover of Deathstroke Inc. we have available are the, the B covers. I think A covers are all got up. That's kind of cool, though. They're very sturdy. I don't know who that is, but he looks very that, serious. Well, it's probably the main character whose name is in the title. Oh, is it? Oh. <laughs> it's probably the head of Deathstroke Incorporated. Nice, Deathstroke. nice. You know Deathstroke, come on. I Yeah, no, but yeah. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Come on. <laughs> well, we got this bad boy here that I definitely knew. <laughs> I I want I don't want to say we don't for a fact have a cover A. We might. I will look into it if someone out there wants Just both covers. Just message us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will definitely figure something out. All right. Another one that I'm actually noticing that we don't have cover A for, which we definitely do out there because we have so many of this. It's been a day. It has been a day. <laughs> we have a lot of issues That's this, Ain't Ramel, we got you, and got I will ya. look for that other cover for you. Uh, the other one being Aquaman. Aquaman number one. Finally, Aquaman being one of DC's key heroes. He always has been. For these past couple months, he's not had an ongoing series, which mm -hmm. is ludicrous yeah but with, with aquaman the becoming and black manta we have been building up to it it's finally here we do not have cover a to show off but we do have the black history month cover for aquaman number one it's a team-up book of uh now jackson hyde from aquaman the becoming and mm -hmm. arthur curry the standard aquaman mm -hmm. they're teaming or well they've always been a team but now they're both gonna be recognized as aquaman okay so that's why it's aquaman oh that's cool yeah, yeah this is one i was really excited to read because uh in kal-el he shows up yeah yeah and i was like oh he looks really cool that's another hero i kind of want to get into yeah, so yeah so we got him on the black history month cover here with him and his dad his dad being black manna oh so, uh, okay the family drama there already yeah so we've got this this is one of the i think this is like the C or kind of there's a lot of covers we, yeah, have we get a them, lot so. of covers for aquaman but this is one of the covers here. we have that one and we have uh what do you think about the sketch covers what's your take on them the sketch covers feel like they have a lot of potential <laughs> <laughs> That is like the a embodiment of, of potential. Yeah, a lot of real estate. Are. I might have to try to buy one and do some sort of something on Katie it. Katie is an artist. So I she could, can uh, be. An she can be. You are. I am an artist. Yeah. And I would like to make an art on this. So we have a bunch of sketchbook covers. Like to make an art. And we... I would like to do the art. <laughs> That's right. I'd like to scribble on the paper. <laughs> All right, what's next? Moving on to Wonder Woman <laughs> Evolution. Woo! Wonder Woman being DC's, you know, the big three. She's the premier female superhero. Mm -hmm. I know, uh, got some friends that are all in on Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. This nice little mini series. So, not a lot. That one is not tied to the other uh, Wonder Woman books that are happening right now because those are all building up to a big event. That's right. Aquaman all covers. Oh, yeah, Ramo. There's going to be a lot more, too. So, they're really cool. I think there's only one other one. It's just, we have a lot of copies. There's an of A and one. there's a B one because I looked at both of them. Oh, that's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Yeah. But this, yeah. Yes. So this one is, a, if you want a Wonder Woman uh, story that's standalone right now, it's not tied into Wonder Girl, 
uh, rest in peace, or uh, Nubia, which mm-hmm. is still going, and the mainline Wonder Woman book that are all building up to one big comic expanding event that'll change the world of the Amazons forever. I'm sure that uh, you know, this is a good story for you because you like Wonder Woman. Here's just a nice little side thing. Yeah, I feel like for me it'd be good good one to catch up on as well. Good introduction to her. So we got Wonder Woman Evolution. Oh, you know what? Here. Oh, we got the other ones. Yay! I have just received the other covers Whoa. of everything that I said we didn't have. Nice. So go ahead and Straight put that one aside. From the heavens. Go ahead and put that one aside. Oh, oh. I just want to show off these other two though because of how great they look. Here is the main Aquaman cover. Ah. Look at that. So Mel, you're definitely getting these. You're but def- anyone else who is interested in these Aquaman covers, there is. This is the one I like the whole lot. Oh, yeah. and then there's this one. Oh, you know, like, this I one's forgot. awesome. Yeah. yeah. We had everybody. Yeah. Everybody was, in, like, on that. Yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, those are some of the covers that we... Here was the B cover for Wonder Woman. Oh, yes. Showing off uh, in her sword the reflection of, like, the big three in there. Oh, very cool. Got the B cover there for Wonder Woman. And then, last and maybe least, for DC, we have Teen Titans Academy. Teen Titans Academy is currently walking the Green Mile. It is uh, oh. it's official uh, number 15. We're on number 12 right now. Number 15 will be the final issue of Teen Titans Academy. Is it like, was that a planned final issue? It or they were just like, we're ending yeah, it? Yeah, it's like, oh. this is the end. But we have been building uh, for this whole Teen Titans Academy story, we've been building up Red X. Mm-hmm. Who's Red X, you know, from the show? Mm-hmm. And like, we're going to bring him in. We're going to do that whole Red X mystery plot again. So now, like, this one, the last cover said Red X was revealed. He wasn't. This book, I can say for a fact, is the book in which Red X is revealed. Okay. You get the answer to Red X in this one. Yeah, Red X rises. So we got the A cover there for Teen Titans. And the B cover showing off the man himself. There's Red X. Who is he? Find out. Find out. Count. Next time on. All right. Yeah. That That's the, it for DC. It's the end of Goodbye, DC. Goodbye, DC. I apologize for how thrown together that uh stack ended up being doing it we're doing our best here it's a lot yeah today was busy today was busy and it was a lot of books it's crazy at the planet man yeah Ooh. just keep spinning too. Keep, keep spinning keeps going <laughs> around <laughs> but i'm starting off with marvel the book for uh titans Academy both covers we got gotcha. you uh yeah for marvel i'm starting off with the book that i am definitely most excited to talk about i didn't realize this until you texted me before i came in today that it was coming out <laughs> ghost rider number Ooh, one and Katie texted me and she goes, am I allowed to be excited for this book? And I was like, well, that depends, Katie. Very important important factor with Ghost Rider. Is it Johnny Blaze? Is it the man himself? You know, straight out of the 90s, Johnny Blaze? It is. Yep. Ghost Rider number one, the return of Johnny Blaze. Now, you know, Reyes, he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but he's not Johnny Blaze. You made it at a very specific point. It had to be Johnny in order for me to be excited. Yes. Pull oh, Ghost. Micah oh, Hill. Oh, hey. cool. What's up, Micah Hill? Yep. All right. We have a lot. And because it's the number one. We have a lot of uh, Ghost Rider covers. I asked to because I really am ashamed that I love the movie so much. Like you like Nicolas Cage. I love Nicolas Cage, and I, the movie that was one of the movies we just like eternally had around at home. I'll take Ghost Rider. Yeah. All like, right. Yeah, so we got Jody for Ghost Rider. Heath would like every Ghost Rider cover, which you're gonna be getting a lot, Heath. Yeah, yeah, you got you got a bunch, but we got you down for Ghost Rider. All and, right. Yes, yeah, so you were a big fan of uh, Nicolas Cage. Yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> I feel as if my skull is on fire. <laughs> Yeah. Like that, that one. <laughs> yeah, dude, it, it was it was metal to say the least. That <laughs> yeah. experience. Ghost Rider is the most metal character, but let's go through a rapid fire of all these Ghost Rider covers. Micah Hill's gonna be getting these. Nothing. Well, uh, uh oh, Heath, Heath will be getting all these. Me. Micah got the one, unless you specify. Ah, no. Which, okay. uh-huh. All right, here we go. Yeah, so we have the X Gwen variant. Uh, Gwen Stacy dressing up as Emma Frost in this one. Woo-woo. Love me some Gwen. Love me some Emma Frost. We have this one. Nice, check that out. Ghost like that got a, what a great design. What a great idea for a character. A lot of artists kind of went wild on his character design. They did. This one might. That one's really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. I realize like half our stack for Marvel, the reason it's such a hefty stack for Marvel this week, is just the variants. Yeah, yeah. Ghost Rider, and then when we get to Wolverine, which we always do. Is this cover like referencing something because i swear i told tyler before yeah. that there was a spider-man cover that looked like this and i was like cleaning it up the other day so if you guys know what this is like a reference to or even if Hold it is a little closer to the camera so yeah. you can look at that one let me know because i'm really interested katie was interested yeah if that was a reference and it her. might not be who knows but okay you know it's a lot yeah speaking of a lot here's this one that depicts many different ghost writers, and that's our uh, final cover that was a front and back too flip that one over oh it's a it's a spread yeah, yeah. that's nice 
Very cool. Yeah, what a, just, I'm, I'm s- picking one up because I'm very excited Number for that. Number one, too, is just what I'm so excited about. Yeah. Like, yes, good jumping on part for Ghost Rider. Nice. What a, yeah, what a sweet character. Cool, cool. This other one I know people are going to be crazy about because who isn't? We have uh, number one for Carnage Forever. Ooh. Good old Cletus Cassidy. Everyone's is favorite. Is his name Cletus? It is Cletus okay, Cassidy. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll forgive it. <laughs> You'll forgive it? <laughs> I'll forgive You'll it. You'll have no choice to forgive it. This man's a serial killer. Oh, okay. Did you know that? No, I did not <laughs> yes. know that. Cletus Cassidy is a sick man. And he's oh, pure dang, evil. Dang. Yeah. Okay. Put that copy on the third and fourth covers. If oh. we have, I do we have multiple covers for some of these? For some of them, we do. I will make a note, Alan, to do that. We will get back to you on that one. We'll yeah, listen. very cool. But yeah, yeah, Carnage. I mean, the, he's also a super '90s character. But like anything with the with the symbiotes, you know, in Marvel, they're gonna be big. I know everyone loves Carnage. Mm-hmm. You know, Woody Harrelson played him in the movie recently. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah I never got around to seeing that. So we have that cover, the standard cover. Boop, boop, boop. And we have this one, this variant, showing off what looks like the 90s animated series Carnage. Oh, okay. Because that was my first exposure, and probably a lot of other people's too, first exposure to Carnage. And that's exactly what he looked like. It looks like they're mimicking that exact art style. Yeah, Which, that's awesome. very cool. So those are, and that's number one, too, Carnage Forever. And then we have Captain Marvel, the, or the Ghost Riders. Right. Oh, yeah, we got you, Alan. Yeah, yeah and so Captain Marvel featuring... Uh, several different uh classic marvel characters here on the front yeah yeah we got oh man we got oh there's everybody. a bunch there's, yeah. i was gonna say i start listing them off but it's just it's basically it an avengers cover but see uh focusing on captain marvel this is the part five of the last of the marvel storyline mm-hmm. i don't know if this is the end or if we're gonna keep going with it but it's ramping up yeah well, that's captain marvel there and then we have Captain Marvel, the one variant cover for this one, Ooh. showing off Captain Marvel's, like, Super Saiyan mode. Yeah, this is a really pretty cover. I like this one a lot. She looks insane, honestly. Yeah, like, that That uh full, like, mode is really good. Yeah. It's, like, very busted, very overpowered. Nice. So that was Captain Marvel there. Moving on to... Spider-Man. Everyone's favorite A-lister from Marvel. It's Spider-Man. 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 Check him He's out. still fighting the Goblin King. Oh, that's right. Queen. People were freaking out about her, too. Brand new, I believe. Yeah. I think we talked about before. But it's Spider-Man 90 out this week. Yeah, so Spider-Man number 90. We're still on Spider-Man Beyond. Ben Riley's still holding it out there. He's carrying that torch, you know, until July comes around mm. and Peter rips it from his hands and sends it back into the 90s room. Goodbye. Can you grab all Captain Marvel covers, too? Yes, Yeah, we got gotcha. you. Nice, nice. So that was Spider-Man there. And what else we got? There's more oh, there's more covers. Spider-Man. You can never have too many spiders. Spider-Man. This is a C cover here. He looks like he's just not he's been, getting lucky he's been at all. Beaten. Yeah. He's I mean, having a hard that's day. That's the Parker luck, though. Yeah. I, that's the Riley luck. Oh, okay. It's yeah. the same luck. He's a clone. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. We got another cover here. That is our final variant cover for Spider-Man this week. For Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Goodbye, Spider-Man. No, goodbye, Ben Riley, Spider-Man. <laughs> Actually, it's not. Let's <laughs> pull all Spider-Man covers. We gotcha. We will get back to Ben Riley himself later in the stack of Marvel books. Ooh. But Where is he? Right now, we are moving on to Silver Surfer Rebirth, the cosmic sort of uh, side of things in the Marvel Universe. The Silver Surfer... It's like, what a wacky character when you really think about it. Mm-hmm. That's the thing about, that's like comic magic. It's just no one really, if you stop and think about it, you're like, hmm, Silver Surfer sounds kind of silly. Yeah. But they take it so seriously that everyone takes it seriously. How yeah. can you not? It's like, yeah, dude, the Silver Surfer. Like, this is a crazy thing. You're like, that's a big silver naked man on a skate, on a surfboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I correct in saying that he was like a Fantastic Four thing for a while? He's related to the Fantastic Four. He's yeah. not like part of them, but they often deal with like, Galactus and his sort of thing. Anyways, yeah. he showed up in like all the cartoons. Okay. You know, uh, well, the second movie, Fantastic Four: Rise of the Silver Surfer. Yeah. Not good, but he was in it. Not good. <laughs> Doctor Doom famously took uh, the Silver Surfer surfboard, which is, has cosmic powers. Yeah. Very wacky. I love nice. it. Nice. We got uh, yeah, Silver Surfer Rebirth. This is number two. Yeah, number two. We're on to our X Gwyn variant for that one. <sighs> I'm like, is it a hot take to say that I'm sick of the X Gwen stuff? I'm sorry, if that am I canceled for that because I do not like canceled. <laughs> I'm just sick of these covers. Are you sick? Well, are you sick <sighs> of the covers? Or are you just sick of Gwen? I might be sick of Gwen. I mean, the covers are beautiful, but it's just like she has nothing to do with any of these stories. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> That's variant covers. Okay, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> but here it is. <laughs> and then the final variant cover for that one actually showing off the plot of the story in this one. 
Silver Surfer is absolutely tangling with Thanos in this in this story. Oh, Thanos yeah. always a big deal. Everyone Get loves it. him. Yeah. Yeah, he is very shiny, isn't he? Yeah. Moving on to Miss Marvel. Everyone's favorite Marvel from the Marvel universe. That's you have to specify. That's you comics. You have to specify. You do. Cuz DC has Marvels. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's a, that's a, you know, important brain yeah. twister there. <laughs> I I mean, I do love Miss Marvel though. You know, got a Marvel show coming on, uh, or MCU show coming to Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. They're gonna change up the powers a little bit. We'll see how that works out. But okay, Fall Silver Surfer Rebirth. Yeah, gotcha. all covers. We have two covers for uh, Miss Marvel, Marvel here. Yeah, got one more. So there's that one, and we have this one. She's fighting an evil clone of sorts in this one. Ooh, maybe, I like this maybe cover. she's having a clone saga like Spider Man had. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll just, everyone just gets a clone saga. It's stressful. That's like kind of how it works. Clone saga. We're heading back into the Spider family for a brief moment. We have Silk number two. Silk, I have not like I haven't read it yet. I know the first one before number one even came out, we had so many calls and requests for mm-hmm. Silk. Everyone be like, make sure Silk's in my box. Mm-hmm. So I know Silk's a big like, which if you're a Spider person in Marvel. You're popular. It's, well, you mentioned to me before, it's like the the Bat Family stuff. It's like, this is Marvel's Bat Family, basically. Yeah, it's like, like they, even if they might not all be connected and intertwined as much as the Bat Family are to each other, like, there's enough spider people, and they're all very popular. Because who doesn't yeah. mean, you know, they're sweet. Spider-Verse, yeah. Spider-Verse really did that one. I might be hating on the Gwen covers, but they are really yeah. cool, so. <laughs> I think if you actually saw Spider-Gwen, read a story, or watched I definitely the movie, would love, yeah. You would love her. Uh, yeah, I would. And I love this cover, I though. do love this cover for Silk. Look at that. That is so great. Yeah, just just chilling. I love just any art out. of superheroes just hanging out. Like, yeah, just, you know, have a drink, you know, a you, milkshake. Maybe using their powers for, like, nefarious, not nefarious purposes, but just, like, lame stuff. Grabbing just, the remote or something Yeah, like yeah, that. like, you know, Plastic Man is going to, like, yeah, grab the remote. Yeah. <laughs> Anything like that. Let us know if you want Silk, though. These are the only two covers we have uh, for Silk. We have uh, full Silk on covers. Yeah. We got you. Uh, moving on to uh, Phoenix Song Echo. Silk is uh, really good. Read the first one of it last year. I would suggest it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I'll Thanks have for to the input, Jody. That, Jody. Yeah. It's. I know people love Silk. I've like my boy Lance, who has a pull box here. Mm-hmm. He's been yelling at me about Silk. He's like, Silk's so good. You gotta, you gotta get into Silk. Yeah. He's big. He's very passionate about Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll definitely be checking that out. Yeah. And Phoenix. Anything with Phoenix is always a big deal. Mm-hmm. It's the Phoenix Song Echo Force. Yeah. I mean, X Men. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Everyone has a plot line. Yeah. X-Men is like a soap opera. Even more, like, all comics are kind of like soap operas where you can just kind of hop in. Mm-hmm. But X-Men, more than anything, it's like you hop in, you find out this character is connected to this character. And mm-hmm. they did this. And also they've done this before. And this one's from the future. And this one's from another timeline. And yeah. this one's, you know. It's like reading the similar really in, like, Lord of the Rings or something like that. It's like this yeah. person came from this person who does this thing. And, yeah, it's just a but whole all tree. they're so cool. Yeah. Well, and I was talking to a customer earlier in the week, and I was just like, please, I'm desperate. Like, give me a starting point to X-Men. So he gave me, like, a little list of things to do, so. How'd that work out? Uh, I'm not doing it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading Spawn, Tyler. How's... We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> All right, that was the A cover from Phoenix Song Echo. Moving on to... Oh, Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Hey. There you go. Uh, Check I, it out. Ross here at Planet Comics uh, just started watching the movie recently. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. But this is issue number nine for Shang Chi. Though we, we got a couple covers. Couple covers. Uh, Katie's favorite X Men cover. Which uh, Which X Men is this? Oh, I literally couldn't tell you. Oh, uh, it's a Gambit. It is Gambit. Yeah. How'd you know? I saw the cards. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you know. Well, Phoenix Song Echo, we got you. Cool. Gotcha. Yeah, good nice. old Gambit's my one of my favorite X Men. So that's how I recognize that one. Yeah, I don't remember what attachment I have towards Gambit, but it's He's the it's one. That's, that's the probably attachment. it. <laughs> we got one more cover for Shang Chi this week. Looking... Shang, I love all the characters' designs and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Let us know if you would like any of those. It's pretty interesting how Shang Chi, like because of the movie, he's no more as Shang Chi now. When if you look at his old issues, it's like Master of Kung Fu. Oh yeah, that was the tagline because it's just like he's the Master of Kung Fu, Shang Chi. Simple. Yeah. Yep. Pull Shang Chi all covers. We got you. Gotcha. Nice. What we got coming up next? Coming up next, we're back in the Spider Man. Oh my god. Of the Miles Morales variety. Oh cool. Have we talked about Miles Morales yet? We've talked about like to, uh, this week, no. Oh yeah. But yeah. we have talked about Miles before. Yeah. Miles, it's... everyone loves Miles. I mean, how can you not? Yeah, he's definitely one of the spy- Spider Men, man, man's Spider people. Spider people that I'm really interested uh, diving yeah. into their story. You should check check out the movie. I know you haven't yet. Well, I've uh, played the game though. That works. Yeah, so that was pretty. That's cool. That's a good introduction to him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I saw the Spider Verse movie too. You did? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, Nicholas Cage. 
no, that's oh, you're right. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, anyways, we got Miles Morales. Really hitting on Gwen Stacy, and she's in that movie. Oh, yeah, she's cute. Okay. <laughs> that was a hard turn. Okay. That's a nice uh, Spider-Man Beyond tie-in issue as well. So, if you're following the Amazing Spider-Man Ben Riley t- uh, Beyond storyline, that you that's somewhat necessary because there's a tie into that. And we have Katie's favorite X-Men variant right there. Which X-Men is this? Uh, this one. Can't guess. No. Yeah, me neither. No. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know which X-Men this is. But this is, yeah, this is Miles Morales, Spider-Man. One Cover number two. Cover. Yep. And that's moving it on, for that. Moving on to the Dark Ages Marvel's alternate Earth story. Post-apocalypse, it looks like Carnage, the Carnage symbiote, is getting involved in this one. I've heard that this series has been really good. People are loving it. And yeah. well, the key thing for me is Tom Taylor. Oh, there being it is. the writer, you know, mm-hmm. he's Nightwing. Oh, he's writing some of the other stuff. Uh, Dark Knights of Steel. So he's mm-hmm. got two alternate universe Earths happening on both sides. Miles Morales all covers. We got you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tom Taylor, anything he does is going to be incredible. And this is one of many covers we have. We, we got have that one. three for that. We have that one. We have this one showing off Monica Rambeau. She's also a part of the Marvel family on the Marvel side. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, know, you really got to, like I said, got to be specific. Got to be specific. If you, watch, if you ever watch uh, WandaVision, you'll see her MCU debut. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. And yeah, this is the Black History Month variant as well for Dark Ages. So, very beautiful cover. And then moving on to uh, the last cover for this, the Peach Momoko Stormbreakers uh, variant for Dark Ages featuring Laura Kinney. X-23, Wolverine, that cover is so good. Yeah. Like, the Peach Momoko stuff, I'm like, yeah, it's really good, but it's not all my thing. But that one looks awesome. This is awesome. awesome. Yeah. I love that. This one's pretty brutal looking. Dark Ages, all covers, we got you. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, it, there they go. That's, that that one. That would have been a Mary cover if we had yeah, her. Yeah, She's yeah. all about Laura Kenny, I know. She's a big favorite. Of yeah. Her. We got another Moving on to, uh, classic boy here. Character that exists in the Marvel Universe. It's Iron Man. Woo! There he is. I do like the cover for this one. The cover for Iron Man uh, number 17. Mm-hmm. Very classic looking. You can see his eyes in the mask. I like when Iron Man's like heavier metal kind of like actual. Like Maybe it looks a little clunky when it's more defined. But like I like that over the fancy nanotech suit. Mm-hmm. I guess I just always associate it. When I think Iron Man, I just think of like a bigger, bulkier armored hero. We probably have that like heavy nostalgic like association yeah. to it too. Like I saw him in a Spider Man cartoon was my first time, so that's like what that's I think it. Iron Man is. Yeah. That or he's the main character of the MCU and I'm sick of him. <laughs> We've got uh issue se- or yeah, number seventeen. Uh and then we got a couple covers. X Gwen. Here it is. For Iron Man. And for our Black History Month variant for Iron Man, we have Riri Williams, oh, Ironheart. Cool. For a while there, Tony Stark died, and she became, well, she didn't become Iron Man, but she became Ironheart. She was the Iron Man fill-in for that, you know, for the Marvel Universe. Yeah. She's also making a debut in the MCU pretty soon. Okay. I don't remember what movie they said she's going to be in, but she's coming. Nice, Riri all right. Williams is definitely going to be there soon. It's the Black History Month variant of Iron Man. Moving on to... Electra, what a sweet cover this is. Yeah, this is, the covers have been really cool. Iron Man all covers, we got you, Ramel. Yeah, Electra, Electra has like the perfect like female ninja design. You know, I'm a big fan of Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. That's kind of one of my. That's why I always go to Electra. Well, it's cool too. This is uh oh one of the cutout covers too. If you see like all the negative space there, they yeah, just, yeah, it, it's a cool cover. I like it a lot. You're trying to go into like your, your I art need to history. stop myself. Yeah, <laughs> you had it going, and you just you yeah, dropped it's just it. in there. <laughs> but yeah, the covers for Electra have been really cool. It's issue two out. Moving on to Strange Academy. That's been a big book. Yeah, you know that's one of the ones that that one of the previous issues blew up. Everybody oh, had to get it. That's mm-hmm. like one of the like it became twenty dollars immediately. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to be going that direction, as far as I know. Please grab your cover of Iron Man. We got you here. Gotcha. Ooh, actually, well, we... Oh. Mm, Ramel might have snagged that one from you. We might have another one, though. I'll message you, Keith. We'll be looking at it after the show. Full Electra, white, black, and blood. Yep. Gotcha. gotcha. Cool. Yeah, Strange Academy. A lot of characters. Strange Academy, I would say, is basically what uh, Titans Academy was, mm-hmm. but better. Really? It's just, Titans Academy really fumbled the bag on that one. Yeah. So, Strange Academy is just a better version of that. It's a very precious cover. This one is cover A. We got one more for Strange Academy. Check it out. Cover B for Strange Academy. And finally, moving on to this, you know, last week we were living, this week we're dying with Wolverine. It's X, that's a Wolverine. There he is. We don't have a million variant covers of him this week. We don't. So, that's nice. I like, that's the main cover. Showing off again. 
always with i mean wolverine's had so many he's just a cool looking character he's you've had cool. so many good designs you just give well me aesthetically one. he's just like iconic you know yeah so but yeah this is the a cover we've got a bunch of these for x deaths and then we have limited a number of uh some of these other ones i think mm -hmm. but we have yeah here's the b cover showing off a more chrome cyber wolverine that's really cool we have this is the trading card variant yeah right? the trading card variant featuring wolverine logan and his world war one days because nice. wolverine's been around for pretty much every major event in history full excess of wolverine all covers we got you gotcha. your mouth we got one more you're and gonna we be have, getting yeah another cyber wolverine very green i love the colors on there have been one. a couple of these uh it's like a tron wolverine yeah yeah uh i like that one a lot too and that is gonna do it for marvel goodbye marvel fat stack for marvel yeah gosh marvel and dc but on to the independent stuff. On to your part. Woo! So this week, I think it's been a minute since we've had... Uh, have we ever talked about it on the show? I don't think we've ever talked about it on the no, show. No, we haven't. But we're going to talk about it now. We got Berserker number seven. My love for you is like a oh truck Berserker. <laughs> Oh, I mean, just keep going. I'm not even going to say anything. We're just going to be like, zoom, burn, 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 yeah. burn, burn. <laughs> I mean, it's Keanu Reeves. Yeah. He's like an immortal cyborg or god or something. Something like and that. And he's just tearing people apart. It looks brutal. I've not read it, but Tyler and I both are flipping through. Just like, man, this is intense. And this is the A and B cover. We have a billion shiny boys, too. Um, so if you're interested in any of the alternate covers, just let us know. We have a lot. Oh, Vermel, okay. Yeah. That's a that's a heavy statement there. We're gonna get you oh. all the covers. <laughs> yeah. It's this is we have more than just those two. Yeah. Uh, Berserker. Yeah. But uh but yeah, if uh I'm gonna call myself out here, you know, Keanu Reeves, we got him on my water bottle. My love so. for you is ticking <laughs> clock berserker. So good choice. That's the there. only part of that song I can say on the show. Gotcha. The yeah. rest is not <laughs> happening. So we say goodbye to Keanu for a while and we kinda wanted to bring this up uh early on in the show, I guess. It's a great book. Yeah, it it it, it does seem pretty great. Ah. Another great book. Oh, it's a great book, cool Ravel. But yeah, another great book. Ah, saga. She was very quick to be like, yeah, you berserker, but saga though, <laughs> which I'm so glad. Yes. Saga is at that all timer, man. Look saga. at how sad that cover is. Like, it just, what is this TV man? And he's looking really sad. I can't talk about sad it. Sad TV. Yeah, that's actually it sucks a lot because we could say a lot, but we literally can't say. I just anything. don't want to ever spoil anything about Saga because mm -hmm. it's so good and mm -hmm. it's yeah. Like we finally came off a of hiatus. It was three years. Mm -hmm. I was literally surprised to see it on the polls this week because I'm just not used to consistent you Saga. Are, yeah. It's like wow, more Saga. <laughs> We're not like I don't have to wait like a year. Yeah, it's it's weird and honestly tragic and sad and yep i'm gonna keep going before i spoil it we've got saga that's the only copy we have available for what saga too oh it is that's yeah true. it is everyone pulled it so what happens first when talking about saga will we cry or will we spoil it oh gosh <laughs> i'll probably cry but up next we've got the harbinger harbinger you did it i even though i heard someone say harbinger i swear They're to god so I, everyone we can be wrong has together ever looked at that and said in harbinger room, and we're hanging out and yeah. saying it over and over harbinger we've got issue five out this week of for this harbinger. Of, of harbinger and this is the only uh copy we have of this as well so i know a couple of people have been asking for it so get that it has been a big book it has it looks it's, yeah. it's unfortunate that uh your mispronunciation has just taken over my entire interest of the book I and i just want to keep calling it harbinger i'm sure there's a lot more like there's a lot more to, to the book it. than that it really is <laughs> this next one i'm really excited about i need to get into this series it's uh Philadelphia. so a couple weeks ago i was talking about nita hawk's nightmare blog mm. and this is actually a series by the same people but not necessarily a prequel series but like the original series i guess nita hawk's kind of like a spinoff series right, right. um but this is how many issues in 19 issues in i know we have a couple of trades here at the store oh, okay um but it's a really really dark uh the artwork is incredibly beautiful but yeah, it's like demon, vampire, dark story. Uh, Shannon was telling me a lot about this um, as well. So we only have one issue of Philadelphia, though, and I'm really looking forward to getting more into it. So let us know if you want issue 19. Um, all right, we got... Moving on to my favorite segment of the night. That's right. We got our ladies segment our of the night. Our ladies are here. We're going to start off... Actually, I'm wearing my Castlevania shirt, which is very appropriate for Vampirella Unholy. Whoa! Uh, we got cover A here. Vampire really unholy a love story. A love. her and Dracula. And Dracula, yeah. 
uh, full Carnage Forever Berserkers. Electra and Berserker black and red cover, please. Oh, yes. We will have to <laughs> get you down for that. Oh, Tyler, I'm going to cough, so I'm going to walk away and you're going to take over. you going to take over? Okay. <laughs> Ladies segment. All Excuse right. <laughs> That's fine because we, I am just going to keep talking about Vampirella here. We have, so that was the first cover. Here is our second one. Uh, Katie was a big fan of this one because of the, uh, it's like the classic sitcom bit of just like, Oh man, you know, what am I just <laughs> ever like jerking the sheets away from each other in bed? And it's so like cheesy and silly, but I love it. It's She's the back. most wonderful She's time back. of the year. Bro, <laughs> you gonna, you're gonna leave you gonna leave me here on the show by myself? They're gonna Talk leave. The they're gone. Like I'm, they're not here for me. <laughs> Everyone's favorite Tyler, come on. That's, the, that's not how the bit goes. Yeah, I'm excited I popped back in for this one though, because I really love this cover. It is so precious. I just love her and Dracula. It's such a funny bit. It's a really funny dynamic. Uh, so cover D, it's also a dynamic that makes sense, but... Our other ladies of the, yes, of the show... Yes, we got Bar... Actually, before we get talk about Barbarella, we got more Vampirella. Cover C. This is a gorgeous cover as well. I've genuinely started appreciating a lot of the art for these Vampirella covers because they're awesome. Uh, the last Vampirella we've got is cover E. We got the cosplay cover. This is a cover. Look I, at that. I, I like, I'm the fan. No, it's it's good. Yeah, it's like shocking. It's like, yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, that's all of them, but they're yes, so good. But they're really good. They are. Yeah. Uh, so this, yeah, the cosplay cover for Vampirella, cover E. Let us know if you want that. And then our last lady, we don't have too many of them this week, but we got Barbarella looking like Barbarella. She's like, what, like a 70s something yeah, character? Some, I believe so. Very Austin Powers looking. It is very Austin know? Powers looking. There's a dinosaur. Cool. Whatever's happening there I is don't probably know much awesome. Barbarella. You know, uh, one of our mainstay ladies for the show that we don't have is Red Sonya. Yeah. And that's because, again, stressing, stressing yeah, the importance of a pull box here at the planet, even if you guys are just someone who consistently watches the show and you get your books from here. Uh, yeah, Red Sonya, who we almost always have Red Sonya. Mm -hmm. And a million of them on the show. Kind of miss her. Yeah, she's gone. Like she's we, gone. We only had copies for people with polls, and they just snatched them up. Yep. They're goodbye, Red Sonya. We'll see her hopefully next week. But she'll be back. She always comes back. a pull for those. But we got Barbarella here, and we're gonna say goodbye to her and cute furry thing. All right. This next one, I know Mary's been pulling this. Um, I'm not too familiar of it, but it is the last of the series. It's Telepass by AWA Upshot, which. I have recently been really getting into. They're all like uh, self-contained, kind of short, limited issue series. Anything with Upshot has been a hit here. Yeah, like yeah. everyone just like Upshot haven't missed. Mm -mm. You know, they're shooting upward and they're hitting. Yeah, they're you hitting. Know, they're keep going up. <laughs> you know, they're keep they keep they're aiming high. It's really nice though that they are really focusing on like more independent, like unique creator uh, own stories. Yes. You know? Yeah. No so... one's getting Alan Mord here. You know. Yeah, dude. <laughs> But this is the last issue, so if you guys have read this, let me know how it is, because I might try to pick up a trade. Ramel's got oh, telepath. Oh, nice, Ramel. Yeah, if you've read it, let me know how it is, because it looks cool. Um, actually, so our next uh, thing we're going to talk about is issue five of Gunslinger Spawn. Look at him. That is the spawn. I got yeah. all the various spawn books, uh, like all the different like multiverse spawns and like spawns out of history and all that. I know Gunslinger Spawn's the most popular. Yes. Everyone, which, I mean, Cowboy Spawn is cooler than like a night spawn yeah well that's such a cool concept this is the spawn that made me want to start my spawn project mm -hmm. so how is that project coming uh i watched the movie with john leguizamo uh <laughs> <laughs> that i was expecting that. I, I, yeah I, I would say that i'm making a lot of progress i'm glad that you also <laughs> quoted john leguizamo as from the movie and not michael jai white who's <laughs> actually spawn yeah no i mean john leguizamo is the violator is kind of incredible yeah. <laughs> He's entertaining in a bizarre way. In yes. Movie. I love it. <laughs> kind of uncomfortable. The movie's not good. No, no, it's not. No, it's I know. Really not. It was fun, though. But we do have, I think this is a cover A for Gunslinger Spawn. Uh, coming up, I really like this cover as well. We got cover B for Gunslinger Spawn. I just think the whole cowboy aesthetic to Spawn is awesome. Yeah. So, looking forward to getting to that one day. We're going to. All ooh, right, boy. we've got a Transformers. New series. Ooh, War's End. Transformers War's End. I don't know if this is a one-shot or if we're going to do a couple of these. Yeah. You know, Autobots and Decepticons going out again. The tale is old as time. Or as old as, you know, things from the 1980s. Yeah. <laughs> and it is... I, I'm all about it. Giant yeah. robots just beating the crap out of each other. I'm excited because it's a number one, and I really wanted to read, like, Beast Wars and stuff, but mm -hmm. I felt like it was too far ahead uh, to jump in it for me, at least. So I'm going to be picking up... Uh, some of these first issues. Don't uh, spawn for Ramel. Oh, yeah, Ramel. Gotcha. Gotcha, dude. Yeah, I'll be picking uh, this one up and trying to read more into it because it looks cool. But we got the A cover for Wars, and this next one looks intense. Do you know who that? 
Ooh, even that looks like an amalgamation of several different Transformers. Which it I'm very well could be. Actually, not sure what that one is, but it's cool. But we gotta find out because yeah. we're gonna read it. You gotta read Wars in. Let us know if you wanna, yeah, check Tell out this all new series. Or one, one shot. I don't know. That was, <laughs> that was, that was man, an attempt you're, at a bit. You quoting a lot today. You know, you're feeling good. Yeah. This next one we're really excited about because we recently started reading uh, Radiant Black. Radiant Black. Yeah. And this right here is super massive. So it's one shot within the Radiant Black. Uh, universe, I guess, or series, but it's also introducing some new superheroes, I think. Uh, so I guess Image is going to do their own like superhero team They're of some They're doing another sort. superhero team, or at least in the Radiant, like spinning off of Radiant Black mm -hmm. or something to tie it into. So I think uh, Supernova was one of the ones that mentioned. Yes, yeah, yep. So, and like, I, I, anything with Radiant Black, I'm interested in. And is this yeah. the only copy? This is the this? only copy we have. And so it wasn't if, even on a pull, so... If some of those books, like, blow up, then this might be, like... Yeah, this is a big deal. So, I'm really looking forward to flipping through this and reading it, though. Um, we have really fallen in love with Radiant Black, Everything so... Radiant Black is just so good. Yeah, so... I mean, we've been watching Power Rangers here at the <laughs> <We> store. <have. laughs> if we haven't, because it's, like, the perfect comic book thing. We're kind ever. of, like, a Sentai, like, kind yeah, of... Yeah, <laughs> and Radiant Black it just fills that void also of more Sentai goodness. Yes, so let us know if you want Super Massive, though. It's going to be a one shot in the universe that's gonna be cool you're more familiar with this next one than yeah. i am moving on to yeah oblivion song which uh robert kirkman the walking dead invincible two hot comics that have then spun into widely successful television shows mm -hmm. oblivion song i believe was his first big project out okay. after those two yeah so that one safe to say probably gonna blow up it's also nearing its end because we're on issue 35 uh yeah it's i think I don't even know if we're making it to 40. Really? Like, it's nearing the end. I remember hearing about it. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to have to pick up some trades because I still need to read Invincible and yes. The Walking Dead, honestly. Yes. So I'll also, make it through this one day. for Ramel. Oh, Ramel. Good job. Yeah, awesome. That is super massive. That's all we got there. So cool. But yeah, Oblivion Song. Gonna check that one out. We got next, it's Dark Horse, Orphan and the Five Beasts. I am admittedly not super familiar with this. But that art goes hard. That's what I was about to say. The yeah. art is so cool. Yeah. Oh, man. The art is incredible. It's like super doodly and intricate, I guess. I can't even like describe Very it. Very heavy metal magazine. Yes. Yeah. That's what for I would sure. describe it as. Yeah. It's got, it just looks cool. I think it's four issues in. I don't know much about it, but if you have been reading it, let me know how it is because it looks really cool. Oh, another number five oh, yeah. from AWA Upshot. Oh, yeah, AWA is, uh, they're closing out some series. We've got Out here. Uh, and again, another one that I didn't get to jump into early on. Mm -hmm. So I will probably be buying all of the trades of all their stuff. So I, Yeah, I don't know if AWA is the kind of company that does trades. I would hope so because it's like I think so because I think perfect. later on we've got a trade from them. I'm pretty sure. Oh, we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, th I yeah. think they will. But... Trades are definitely like a good way because like for any store you've missed of AWA, you know, get the trade. Mm -hmm. And for anything like this, definitely good to hop on. Any number one you see, because you know it's going to be five and we're done. Yes. Which yeah. Which is very nice. Which is nice. But we got uh, issue five, the end of this one, out. So let us know if you need that this week. This next one, we were really, I think we talked about it last week. Last week. Yeah. So we've got Quad, and this is Ghostware Exorcist Trent. So it's focusing on this guy, this Trent. Robot, this proto robot, proto-man-looking individual. Yeah. So this is that post-apocalyptic story where last week we had uh, the lady and her cat. Yeah. Uh, which looked just really wonderful. I didn't get around to reading that one, um, but I added it to my pull list because it just looks so cool, and I think it's going to be like a four-part thing. I would assume. Assume, yeah. yeah. If It's called Quad. If, yeah, if everything goes as planned, it's going to be four issues, so... But this one I'm really excited about because I love me a good, sad robot story. So that's <laughs> All what I'm robot expecting. stories are sad. Are sad. Robot They're stories. so sad. I know. Robots, like, they get happiness and we just rip it away And then them. we take it away. That's what we do. No free will. All right, the next one I'm also excited to talk about is Radio Apocalypse. So this was one of the things I picked up really early on on working here. I don't know how long it's been since the first issue came out. This might have been delayed, but it's a it's another kind of post-apocalyptic story, actually. But this one, and this might not mean anything to anybody, but it's got the, the setting is the vibe of, like, Gerard Way's, like, True Life and the Fabulous Killjoys. It's got, like, a really, like poppy teenager you know bright color aesthetic in a post-apocalyptic world that's not okay and there's like a radio tower that is like signaling out like 
like information and music like it's the only like stable point of like civilization in uh, this okay. world as we know yeah this is issue two mm -hmm. but it's uh yeah so it's the only beacon of just like normalcy in this universe i read so... my ram v okay that's a big deal ram v oh cool okay, he's a really hot rider right now really yeah i didn't doing, know doing that swamp thing for dc okay i uh, doing some stuff for marvel Okay. I know it's a name that comes up a lot. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I was really impressed by that first issue. So I'm excited to get into this one. And we've got the A cover here for Radio Apocalypse. And then we've got the B cover, which is also really nice. Yeah, music's a big theme to this one, which I really love a good music comic as much as I love a sad robot story. So yeah. <laughs> kind of can't lose with me. All right, Tyler. Yeah, let All me take right. it. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. It is good. It's just fun. You know, it's, it's it's quite different having to be a Sonic fan because you have to go through a lot. Can you name any of these characters on the front here? Oh, no, dude. I really can't. I feel like I, I got Tails and Sonic up there. That would be the Chaotix. That's uh, Vector the Crocodile, Charmy B, and Espio the Chameleon. He's a ninja as well. Radio Apocalypse for Ramel. Oh, uh, yeah, Ramel. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, Sonic. The Sonic comics have been so good. And I know it's e like the 90s ones or the Archie comics got a little out there. But ever since they started with IDW... They've been on track. They've been like, they've gone pretty crazy. Not too crazy though, where you're like, okay, we're going pretty far for a Sonic the Hedgehog story. Yeah, yeah. But like, just enough to give you exactly what you want. If you play like the Dreamcast games, mm -hmm. those are like the early, any of the early 2000s modern Sonic games. It has that kind of vibe to it. Yeah. And they're fun. There's a lot of good cartoon gags. A lot of great original characters. I can't stress enough how much I love Sonic. Sonic was the first like video game adaptation or right, movie adaptation of a video game that I have actually like fallen in love with yeah, too. So it's, it's just been a really hot, really like, good. The movie's property. coming out. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. They've already announced the uh, third movie coming. Oh yeah, that's and right. And Knuckles series. Idris Elba is Knuckles, which is going to be so good. incredible. But that was the A cover there. We which actually have variant covers. Yeah, we have B the B covers cover. showing off the Chaotix Detective Agency. Nice. They are, yes, they are detectives. That is so good. And then we got one more cover for Sonic, the Chaotix, and Hit the Pavement. This looks like that. it's going to be like a solo, just standalone Chaotix story. So it's a pretty good fun story yeah. for some side characters in Sonic. Nice. I know you're excited to talk about Sonic, though. We got a couple of Sonic <sighs> things. This next one, I am not familiar with at all, but we have one copy of number six of Battle Cats. So Now, who do you think would win in a fight between uh, the Battle Cats, the Wild Cats, the Thunder Cats, and the SWAT Cats? I could only confidently say Thunder Cats because that is the only one that I'm familiar with. <laughs> that was all just, I just said a bunch of cat stuff and you were just it's, like, uh. Thunder Cats, I recognize those. They that, got the hair, they got the little, yeah, you know. That's probably true. Yeah. You know. But we got Battle Cats, is that something that you've been into? Let me know because I don't know. But we've got, uh, next up is issue two of Bolero. This one it's got really gorgeous art. Yeah, it does. The other um, cover looks really good, too. Yeah, here's the other cover uh, to it here. It's very pretty. I just admittedly don't know much about this one either. I think it's some sort of sci-fi story of some sort. But wow. yeah. Wow, yeah. yeah. Every the time you open it up, like, yeah, the art Incredible. Is. So I've heard really good things about this as well, but I've not gotten into it. It's only two issues in, though, so I Definitely think it's Definitely not one. too late to hop in. Yeah, no, and it's actually a little bit thicker, too. It's kind of a bigger comic, so... Um, we've got Dark Interlude up next. So this has got like a Shakespeare kind of vibe to it. Um, yeah, it, uh, I can see what you're saying with that. Yeah, yeah. Also not familiar with Dark Interlude, but we do have, I think this issue three of Dark Interlude. So those look really cool. Those look very interesting. We're close this to the one, end though, here. This one looks so sick. Yeah. I am excited about this one. I don't know much about Behemoth Comics, um, but I've seen some of their stuff come in, and it's always, like, it looks like a zine. Like, it's, like, bright and yeah. loud and, like, aggressive. And this one is called Heavy Metal Drummer. Yes. Check it out. Yes. Oh, my God. The art is so I mean, so that's cool. it. Come on. Oh, that's all that's you need. Right. Anything Dude. with Heavy Metal, I'm in. Yeah, no, this is so sick. It's only three ninety nine dollars too. And, yeah, this looks just, like, trippy is the only word I yeah, got for it. Yeah, trippy is the trippy and intense so yeah it gets wild the art is so cool though like a like adult swim ish you know yeah, yeah it's like it's like an adult swim bumper yes. in between like the shows and it's in commercials yeah. yeah oh god those used yeah. to horrify me as a kid too and got, now you're like this is the coolest thing. now this is like the coolest thing it, it really imprinted me yeah yeah so we've got cover c there this is cover d of heavy heavy metal drummer that's really cool we got cover yeah, this is cover B here. Hypnocat, look at him. Yeah, dude, Hypnocat. This looks like a poster that would be up in like a... The whole book looks yeah. like a poster yeah. that like you'd hang up in like a teenager's basement. Yeah, yeah. Which is awesome. <laughs> and we've got cover E here. I like this cover. 
But this last one, and I think it's cover A, actually. No, we got one more. This is cover A, though. This is probably my favorite. It really gives you the you drummer You already vibe. showed off that other one. Oh, I did. So this is the last one. I like so the drummer a. also. Yeah. It has that Black Sabbath <laughs> It does have a Black t-shirt. Sabbath t-shirt on. <laughs> heavy metal drummer. Absolutely. So it feels yeah, like... Heavy metal drummer for Ramel. Oh, yeah. You want all covers? Cool. Yeah. Oh, this looks way too cool. So, yeah. I'm really excited to read that. To finish things off, that was all for the comics, really. We do have a trade I want to mention. Not All Robots. This is... It's a self-contained story. It's another AWA uh, trade, which we talked about. Yeah. Be a good way to get into AWA stuff. But this is one, again, a robot story. I jumped in really late. And I talked about it a few weeks back, but we do have a couple copies of this trade. It's only, yeah, like $10. Yeah, $9.99. So pick this up we've got All a few copies one. yeah i'm gonna be grabbing it just so i can i probably will be grabbing one myself because it, it does look good and yeah. I, I didn't i found out about it way too late mm -hmm. but it's a good time to like you yeah know, hop in pick it well, up because it's, like, it's all done so like it's one and done 999 mm -hmm. you get the whole story and it's not that long too and yeah i'm really excited about this i saw it come in i was like i gotta mention it on the show so i am mentioning it but yeah, that's all that we have this week. It's kind of a lot, you guys. So we kind of hit right at 7 o'clock, too. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a ride. Yep. We had a lot of books. Both Marvel, DC, and the Indies just came at us full force. Yeah, it was a really, really heavy been busy. Load. You Woo! know, who, who says the comic industry isn't thriving? Oh, it is. Yeah. It's very much so. Yeah. But thanks, everyone, for chiming in. I'm going to go back through the comments and kind of sort together any that you guys have pulled. Absolutely. Um, and I'll be messaging some of y'all a little bit later. Good to but see yeah. a lot of you guys, as always. Thank you guys for coming out. You know. And we will see you next week. Bye, everybody. <laughs>